going to be insane. And yeah. there's just so many hype players going. Like sure. There's like at least 30 Japanese players going alone. So, And best of five doesn't happen until finals, finals right? So, so anything can happen. So many of We saw CEO, right? Right. right. All right, and, here uh, we go. I'm sure you know someday this will be Evil Grand Finals. We have Falgod versus Black Twins. Yo, I would love to see Falgod in an Evil Grand Finals. And not gonna lie. Black Twins choosing Diddy. You know he he does. Oh wow, nice. Okay, he does uh, pull out the Diddy sometimes. You know, yeah. it's it's becoming one of his uh, more favorite secondaries. That's true. But yeah. playing Falgod personally, I know he's not bad at this matchup, and I feel like Ryu doesn't do bad versus Diddy at all. I mean, he's already getting a nice lead here. A couple more hits and uh, Tilt sure you can can kill. Yeah. Something, oh, and that might be it. Well, I don't know. Something I've noticed from Falgod from playing him and just watching him generally is sometimes he'll race out to these really, really big leads and just get like build up a few hits on you. And That's, then afterwards, yeah. he hits like a massive drought and just doesn't, isn't able to really do much. Right, because, uh, you know, Ryu is uh, susceptible to getting camped, right? Yes. Ooh, and he almost gets a spike there. Nice DI in by Black Twins, actually. Oh, and a commanding lead right now for Falgod. 37% only taken. And he's just been using these uh, hitboxes of Ryu so well. His fair is so big, does like about 15%-ish or something. Yes. It's just monstrous, man. This guy's, this guy's a truck. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, it's up, it's, up, it's, it's up to see how Falgod maintains this lead because, yeah, now he's got it. And with Ryu, you can kind of sit back a little bit because Diddy has to like run at you and Ryu can just throw out these okay. big hitboxes, right? And Blackton's walling him out with these fares, getting these grabs. And the nice re-grab, and that's going to be it. That Early nice. kill. That was really nice. Mind games from Blackton's. Falgod losing that huge lead he had. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, that's the thing. Like, Black Twins was able right away as soon as he lost that stock. He he went pretty efficient claiming that stock. Didn't only took like fifteen percent. He did. He stayed composed. He wasn't he wasn't getting too shaky. You know, he realized you know, still got to stay in this. Of course. It ain't over till it's over. And for sense, looking a lot more even now. Though Falgot does get the back throw right there, which is nice. Yep, and it's looking like this last stock yeah. being pretty even. I don't know if Black Twins can you know get away with another. Uh, throw up on the top flat like that last time. Well, it's all about making those reads and measuring up your opponent to condition themselves to not be prepared for those kind of things, right? And Black Twins now wrestling the percent lead away, so Falgod going to have to be really selective how he goes in here. But he is giving him rage, you know. He's got to be careful. Oh, Maybe for sure. like a couple more hits and then sure you can is an option. Banana drop there. Going to add some extra percent. F smash, yep. And good stuff to Black Twins. Yeah. Taking, getting that nice comeback. It was a really nice bounce back. I didn't think that F-Smash would hit, but uh, timing just works in his favor. Yeah. yeah, timing is everything. And, I mean, the thing is, Falgod, yeah, he raced out to a really, really nice nice and early lead. You kind of called it, too. You know, he always does very good at the beginning, and then he hits a drought. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, have a bad mindset going into game two. Because I, like, I feel like he, what he does is, like, he, he, he gets a few strings together and then stops going away from what's working, right? All right, okay. See how it goes. It's kind of like breaking your own momentum a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes that'll happen. Like, there's so many different things in a match. Sometimes your mentality will shift, like, second by second. Right. You're not entirely sure where you're at right now at times. It's, it's all about composing yourself, like you said. Black Twins winning neutral for the most part. Fall God not able to get in like he did game one. Okay, nice upper is on shield, pressuring nice. Falgod, just forcing him to sit. Racking up that damage. Yeah. He's gonna need something. And I wanna see Falgod actually use the banana more, because I feel like when people fight Diddy, they don't they kind of ignore the banana, they fear it, but in reality should they should be using it for their own, because banana into Shoryuken is like I think it's pretty true and it kills like mad early. It would kill right now if they hit it. Of course, you don't want to overuse the banana. You don't want to get too trigger happy with that kind of thing. Oh and I think Blackton's might have saved him there, because I think the wind might have blown him off the edge. Yeah. Continuing the battle, let's go. Up throw, nope. It's a little too greedy with the pummels there. Oh. Sure you can, he went for it. I respect it, because that would have killed, but. And the one thing that's scary about this matchup is on the left and right platforms, Ryu can just like kind of like go for those those uppies, or those sure you cans, because he can just land on the flat, right? And what's Diddy really going to do to punish him harshly? Like a back air fair, up air, it's not going to kill. No. So. Yeah, at this percent you're careful. still yeah. Up smash, and he catches him with a back. Back hit of it. Taking that lead. Falgod, he's in trouble here. He's got to take the stock somehow and quick. Because oh, Black look Twins. at Black Twins trying to go for that spike. Yeah. He had him sized up too, so. Yeah, he was just kind of gearing to go there. Well, Falgod sitting in, in wait with the banana. Oh, that's not what he wanted to do, I don't think. I think he was trying to get Shoryu there. Mm -hmm. But Black Twins going to 
continue to live on here. Falgo's got banana in hand once again. Let's see how he puts it to play. Blacktoon's doing what he should. You know, he just he has the lead. He has no reason to approach. Kind of shoot those peanuts. Get the extend the lead a bit. Down tilt, down tilt grab. Yep. yep. Chases him off with that back air, and he can get another one, but chooses not to. But that might be it. No, can still Tatsu. Make it, make it back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice down tilts right there. Getting him off stage at least. Yeah. Forcing Falgo to. Uh, Falgo can't get a kill here. Oh, that focus attack was clutch, otherwise it was done. And I haven't really noticed many... Okay, that's going to do it. I That'll haven't really it. noticed that many focuses from Falgod. Yeah, he's usually, like, really, really high on those. It's pretty. It's a good movement tool for Ryu, you know? Kind of dekes uh, your opponent out. True. And again, it's it's one of those which it is good to use and use frequently. Okay, here's know? a punish. Oh my gosh. He's going to need something to get back in this game here, and an up air is going to take it. Oh, and even an up throw from the, the, the left Second platform, platform is, yeah. yeah, good enough to do the job. Well, nice. 2 yeah, yeah, Falgod definitely, uh, he showed he showed flashes of what he could do. Mm -hmm. And he had some good moments, but all, overall, Blackthorn's pretty much just outplayed him consistently like in, in the bigger stretches. Yeah.